Alright, let's get started on our drawing projects today. We have two things we're going to learn how to draw. The first one is this cute little dinosaur. We're going to do that first. And then next, we're going to learn how to draw this unicorn. Okay, let's draw this dinosaur. And the way to do that is to go through these steps. And the very first step is we're going to draw a capital letter E. So let's start off with our capital letter E. There we go. And this will form his mouth. So the first step to make his mouth is that we're going to take this center line and we're going to draw a triangle off of that. That will be his tongue. Next, we're going to draw his teeth and his teeth will be just small loops. And we're gonna put four up here on the top. There's his teeth. And then let's do his bottom teeth. There he is. All right, that is our dinosaur mouth. Now the next step we're going to do is we're going to draw his eyes. His eyes are two circles and they're up here just off the angle of this point on his mouth. We're going to start right about here and we're going to draw two circles. One, two. Now we want those circles to touch right here in the middle. And then we're going to put his eyes and they're looking kind of angry. We want to put some detail underneath his eyes. That's like his eyelids. And then we're going to put his eyebrows. When you're drawing a picture of someone that's angry, just do angled eyebrows and you've got angry face. All right, next we're going to do his nose. And the first thing on his nose is his little nose holes. And you want him to be able to smell what he's growling at. So there's his nose. Next, we want to make his the top part of his nose. So what we do is make a loop from the eye down to his mouth. From the eye down to his mouth. There is his nose. All right, now we're going to close the bottom part of his mouth. And it's just a little half circle. We're going to start here and come out right there. All right, now one more line will complete his face. And it's a line that will come off his eye down this way, just a straight line. There you go. Now we have a complete dinosaur face. Next, we're gonna do the body part. Okay, his body starts right about in here. And what we're going to do is we're gonna go down and then to his feet. Okay, so let's do that. Down, around will be his bottom. There's foot number one. And then over here, we're gonna put foot number two. We're gonna start right about the middle of his mouth. We're gonna come down. There's his other foot. Okay, so down and a foot, down and a foot. 
All right, next we're going to put his little belly and his little belly is right here. So it's kind of a little rounded mark right there. Next, we're gonna put on his other two feet. One will come off of this little bump here and we'll just go straight down and over. Straight down and over. And then his other foot on the other side, you're not gonna be able to see it, but we're gonna put a line right there. So that's one foot, two foot, three foot, four foot. All right, next let's put on his tail. His tail comes right off his bottom and you just make a triangle off his bottom and a triangle shape. There is his tail. All right, now we're going to start putting some details. The details for a dinosaur. First off, let's put a horn on his nose. The horn is going to be a triangle. There's his horn. Next, we're going to put some scales on his back. And scales are just gonna be little loops. So let's go loop, loop, loop. And then let's put some down his back as well. Loop, loop, loop. All right, there is his scales on his back. Next, we wanna put some little details like Oh, he needs some toenails. Dinosaurs need toenails. So we're gonna put one right here. And then we're gonna go loop, loop, loop. There's some toenails. And then loop, 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 toenails. And then the very last details is gonna be his kneecaps. Did you know that dinosaurs had kneecaps? They do. Remember we started off with a capital E? His kneecaps is going to be the lowercase e. There's one. There's two. And now our dinosaur is ready for you to color. Now it's your turn. talk a little bit more about our theme today, about being a good neighbor. What I'd like to talk about is self-control. Self-control is when you are controlling yourself and not trying to control other people. Self-control is you thinking to yourself, hmm, do I need to behave in this way or, or think those things or say those words? If you stop yourself here, before you do it here, that's self-control. Self-control is about putting out positive attitudes towards things instead of being negative. It's controlling our words before we say things that we're gonna regret. It's like having good manners, like saying yes ma'am and yes sir, or no ma'am, no sir. Good manners is self-control. Our actions are self-control. When we want to do something, but we hold ourselves back and say, nope, not gonna do that. I'm gonna be in control. 
That's great self-control. And then our best self-control that we can put forth, especially in school, is our efforts. Instead of going, well, I'm gonna give half of my effort today. Or we can say, you know, I'm gonna knuckle down and I'm gonna do my very best on my schoolwork today. That is also self-control. So all of these ways of controlling ourselves is going to help us to be good neighbors and to be the good in the neighborhood, especially at OES, because we are OES stars and we have self-control. All right, let's draw this unicorn. And to draw the unicorn, we're going to need to go through all of these steps. And the first step we're going to start off with right here is we're going to start with a capital letter U. Capital letter U. All right. So to begin, what I'm gonna do is I wanna turn my paper this way a little bit because I want my U to be laying on its side. capital letter U, and then we'll turn the paper back the right way, and then now our U is laying on its side. So what that's going to do is create the unicorn's face. All right, to finish off his head, what we're going to do is we're going to take this side of our U, and we're going to come down, okay? So let's go up and down, up and down. Then we're gonna put a little line right here and then we're going to close this off. And what that's going to do is create his neck. Okay, so a little line here, straight line across, and now we have his head shape. All right, let's start off by putting the eyelashes on first. So let's go one eye, two eyes, and then some eyelashes. There's our unicorn eyes. Next, we wanna put a little cheek shine right there circle for his cheek and then we're going to do a little half circle for his mouth and then down here for his mouth this is his muzzle they say and we're going to go one little nose hole two little nose holes and then our smile and our smile is going to be just like that. Come off the bottom, little half circle, and then put this cute little detail right there. That will help our unicorn to have a cute smile. All right, so now we've got the face done. Let's start doing some details. Let's put some ears on first. So ears are just loops. and loop and you want to put them on either side of his head here so that you have room for that unicorn horn and then let's put some little details little loops inside the ears all right now we have our ears next we want to put on his unicorn mane and the mane is down here and it's hair that's flowing and what I want to do to do that is make triangles. So I'm going to come down and back, down and back, and they're going to get bigger as you go down. Down and back, and then one more. Down and back. That's the unicorn mane. And then to give it some place where you can put some more coloring in, is give it a little line in each of the triangles. 
There. Now it looks like his little hair is flowing in the wind. All right, now we're going to put the hair on the top of his head. And the hair is going to have a part here in the middle. And what we're going to do is go loop, just like that. And then another loop. That'll give it some hair to flow. And then over here, we're going to do some more hair. We're going to go loop, loop, two loops like that. And then for some flowing hair on the other side, we're going to go loop and loop. Okay, so hair is two loops here, two loops here, and two loops there. All right, there is our unicorn, but we're missing the most important part. We need to put on the unicorn horn. Now the horn is a long, thin triangle, and it's gonna come up high and then back down, okay? So start here, up high, and back down. And then give it a little loopy top on there. There we go. There's our unicorn horn. And then the last thing we're gonna to wanna to do is put the horn where it's got those little curvies on it. And it looks like it's that twisted rainbow of a unicorn horn. And to do that, we just put little lines that curve on the horn. There we go. Now we've got our unicorn horn and we've got the hair flowing and this cute face. And then if you wanna add some more details just to make it fun, you can put some hearts or stars. There we go. Now our unicorn is ready to color. Now it's your turn. I hope that you enjoyed doing these drawings today. We did a really cool dinosaur. And then also this really fun unicorn. And now you can color these and have fun with them. You can draw them over and over again if you like. I hope that you'll come back next week. I hope that you enjoyed doing this project with me today. If you did, Hit the like button on this video and be sure to subscribe for future content to Teacher Wallace on YouTube.